easy grilled cauliflower with my pop pop sauce. First, we're gonna start with the cauliflower. I've got the entire head, trim the little green leaves off, flatten the bottom so it kind of sits just like that. And I like to keep it together because it makes it easy to season. You know, every once in a while when I find cauliflower in the bag where there's florets and it's on sale, yeah, I'll get it. But then when I put it in the bowl to olive oil it and everything, I feel like the olive oil just ends up on the bowl and not on the actual cauliflower. So this way, if you keep the head completely together, you can kind of say, yeah, I know I got the olive oil on the florets, not on the stems or hanging out on the bowl. All right, so 360 degrees of luff. And I'm gonna come in and season it with some salt. And kind of throw it at the side there, kind of like, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> and then hit it with some black pepper. And usually I say boulders, but it's okay to get that pepper snow for this so it kind of adheres and sticks and stays on. And then for a little bit of smoky heat, because we are talking about spice today, some hot Hungarian paprika. Just kind of sprinkle it high. The lower you go, the more direct it will be and then also to taste. So I've got my grill set at 400 degrees. I'm gonna get this right over the indirect heat. So that means if your grill is lit on the left side, you're gonna put it on the right side and vice versa. So honey, you're doing that cauliflower with that pop-pop sauce. People are using this pop-pop sauce on everything, right? Yes, you know, obviously it's, uh, shrimp is probably the first place people had it. All right, so. I'm gonna show you how to make this pop pop sauce. Very simple, it's mayo based. Uh, to that I'm gonna add in some of my Thai sweet chili sauce. Now this should always be in your refrigerator or in your pantry. I find I love it because when I order out uh, Chinese takeout, those packets aren't enough and I love to dip my egg rolls in this. So right into my bowl, that sweet Thai chili sauce. I'm gonna add into that some sriracha coming through with some heat. And then just a little sweet from honey. And try to do some local honey if you can. It's good for you. And then just whisk away. You know, if you're wondering where did all of this pop pop, as I call it, or bam bam, or as Jeff calls it, sauce came from, people were going to like a fast casual restaurant that served with shrimp, became so huge. Obviously, you come home and you want to make it at home. Now you can definitely, like I said, buy it in the jar, um, or you can make it very simply here, just four ingredients. The mayo, the Thai chili sauce, sriracha, and a little bit of honey. All right, so. That is done. Let's check on this cauliflower that I already had kind of hanging out. All right, this is what it's gonna look like. After about 30 to 40 minutes, you'll know when you stick a fork in the top and it's fork tender as we speak of. Bring this out here. Look at that. Ah. Now, I could eat this entire head of cauliflower. So this recipe for the sauce is actually for two. Um, you can serve some sauce on the side if you like. And I like to get in here, turn it over, and kind of attack it from the center, right? So if you look at it, you can just say to yourself, well, look at the florets. If I hold my finger here and I just slice down and around, everything's gonna come apart. There you go. All right, so into the bowl. Yeah, can you imagine me eating an entire head of cauliflower? Sometimes I catch myself mid-meal and I say, I'm healthier than I sell. <laughs> All right, over the top. Just a little bit, doesn't take much. And then just kind of give it a nice little bowl toss. Huh? Get it into our serving bowl here. A very easy side. I like to finish it with uh, some chopped scallions. I feel like you can never have enough, never too many chopped scallions. And then, just for edification, a nice little bright spritz after it sat in that grill. Now you can do this in your oven as well at 400 degrees, but a nice spritz of that lemon juice. There you have it, my cauliflower with pop-pop sauce.